Hi, everyone. Welcome to tonight's crafting. I want to apologize. Linda was right on the ball. She was on time and I was not. I got distracted, was reading my mail. Here we are. Linda had to shoot me a reminder. Welcome to the crafting. Creative partner Linda Hansen is going to be uh, playing with uh, triangles, our accessory set, newest one. She's going to be sharing uh, a card that she made as well. So, Linda, if you want to say hi. Hello, everyone. And we got Lee here too. We love when Lee joins us. I think everyone does too. I love the comments because they're always so funny. When <laughs> we have the on board. Well, so just an announcement in the description of this event. Uh, the new release is open for everyone to purchase, community members and everyone. So you can purchase at the link um, that's in the description. I'll also put a link into the chat. Um, and then uh, we're excited in February. We have the QE Lane Olympics. Um, I will post the link in the chat here as well if you haven't had a chance to uh, RSVP for our opening ceremony of the Olympics. It's happening on Friday, this Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways, some prizes for the Olympics, and of course we have three full weeks of creating challenges um, and giveaways, and we'll announce our gold, silver, and bronze medalists. So there's a lot happening in February. Be sure to stay tuned to your emails, get caught up, um, and I will post the link in the chat of how you can RSVP for our Olympics. So with that being said, I'm going to let Linda take it over for tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Sonia. And welcome, everybody. Poppy and Cindy and Deb and Molly and Lee's going to scroll around there. Oh, and Shelly. Oh, hello, Shelly. So tonight we are going to play with the triangles. Now, if you have not purchased the triangles, I hope this will inspire you to get a set and work with them. They, they, they're awesome. Of course, all of Kiwi Lane templates are, but I'm going to pull them out here and show you what you get. All right, little tiny one here. So there's five templates. It's going to be probably hard to see on this. I apologize here. Okay. So they're, triangles, are they? They're oh, at least starting already tonight, guys. So we have five triangles. Triangles. This is so the largest. Oscillates triangles versus and, lateral. Triangles. And then he's going. He's going to tease me tonight. I can already feel it. And then we have this one, which nestles right inside. They all nestle together. And then we have this one. Right. And then we have this one. And then we have this teeny tiny one, which I have lost, I don't know how many times today. <laughs> so, but anyway, so that is the new triangle set. And then we're going to play with some new paper that I bought. I got this down at our local scrapbook store, Scrap Mania here in town. It's called Minte. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen Minte paper, but it is gorgeous and it's it's similar to to work with like graphic 45 it's a little bit busy uh got a lot of color in it but i wanted to show you a technique um that i'm hoping is going to work <laughs> with this i've used graphic 45 before and i uh this will be my second time using minte but i want to show you what you get in them this one is called seaside scapes and on the back of this are cutouts. Now you have to cut these yourself. So you have to fussy cut them or you take your handy dandy little slice that has the porcelain tip and it just glides right around them. So that's that one. Lori said hi. Hello, Sharon. Sharon. Says hi. All right. And then Linda says hi. And Vicki, we got Jenny. Hi, Jenny. You're on tomorrow night, aren't you? So she's going to be doing the new card kit. You guys got to watch. It is really, I played with it. It's awesome. So, okay. So this is one side. They're beautiful colors and uh, a beautiful design. And then you've got this one and this one. I'm going to kind of go through them here. I love, I just love this. Now we're going to use this one tonight for sure. 
and then I'll turn back. Cassandra's song. And there's one. This looks like wood planks. They're waiting on ice here in Southern Indiana. Ooh. Let's, let's hope it just doesn't. Yeah, get there. we missed it. We really did. And then now these are uh, three Water by four song. cut apart. On their From Michigan. They're reversible on each side. There's some on each side. And then they give you a second set. Let me make sure I got them all. Jenny said, no, it's on the 10th. She's a week away. Wait, on the 10th. Okay. Well, wait, what is today? Today second. is the second. This oh, thank day. you. Oh, yeah. This is 2 2 22. So, I wonder if the that's special. Twos. I'm going to use this side of that one, but you get two of everything, okay, with that paper pack. Tanya's off from Texas and says they are in bad weather. Ooh, I have a friend who's up here from Texas getting a, a shot in her knee, and then she's going to fly back home. So I have to keep track. She's down the there. San Antonio area. Yep. So, and then you get these, uh, they're cardboard die cuts, I guess you call them. Uh, and there's a lot of little sayings on here. We'll probably use some of them later. And then they give you a whole packet of these paper die cuts. Um, it's, it's really beautiful, beautiful paper. So this is the ones I picked up for my background. And yes, they don't match. And that's okay. I, if you guys watched the last video when we were sorting paper and I told you don't be afraid of bold prints, you just work backwards. A lot of us use the plain uh, backgrounds and use the same, but sometimes you can get a little brave and step out of your comfort zone. So that's what we're going to do. But what I am from Cleveland says their snowstorm is just starting. Oh, it missed us. It went south. It went to our southern county. So I am so glad. Lee is especially glad because you know how much he loves the snow, guys. So I'm going to use this as a background so you can see what the layout's going to look like. Now, I have two sets of triangles, and that's just because I have it all out so you can see it. But you only need one. But if you want to buy two sets, you can do that. So I am not using borders. Yes, you heard correctly. I am not using borders and I am not using fun borders. I am using the triangle accessory set as my template of choice tonight, or should say templates. So I'm gonna put the big ones there like that. And then I'm gonna take number four. So that's it's number five, four. And I'm going to go just like this. Is that layering? I see you taking place. Yes, it is layering. You know me and my layers. I love my layers. Okay. And I may have to adjust it a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to do three of five and it's going to go right here. And I'm going to adjust this just a little so we get a little bit of a design. And then this one goes. Oop. They're not equal triangles, guys, just so you know. And I may have to adjust this later, but I just want to get you. So all three sides are not equal and equilateral. He's my engineer, guys. So you got two sides that are equal, so it's an isosceles. <laughs> you see what I have to live with every day? Oh, my goodness. And oh, it. and I love it. I really do. I'm sorry to reach in front here, but I'm going to grab the rest of my templates. Now, I'm using photo mat and photo mats and the photo templates tonight. So grab those. If you don't have them, that is a useful set. Believe me, it is very useful. Okay, so we have Nautical 6, which was in the Be the Light monthly kit. Um, let me look here and see what date that was. I kept it out. It was July of 2020. Okay, so we're using that. And then I'm using the a la carte cloud, which came from our April 2021 over the rainbow. Now, this kind of looks okay, but watch this. We're gonna put a little bit of a sir. All right. And then up here, now ignore the lines because I'm not gonna use the lines. I'm looking at the shape. This is where I'm gonna put my title, okay? And then this also came from Be the Light, not equal four, where the lighthouse is. And then I've got a template from Tiny Seaside. This is 5T, it's a little shell. Okay, and I'm gonna stick that right up under there. All right, on this side, I also have Tiny Seaside. 
side of one T. I have seven T. Oops. And one looks like a worm. <laughs> and then I have four T. It's supposed to be a water splat, but I'm going to use it as the inside of my flower. All right, now I'm going to lay the templates that I have for photos. This is a three by three, a three by three. I have a three by four, a three by four. Laura loves the design. Ah, awesome. Three by four, and I have a mat I'm going to put up underneath, four and a half by four and a half mat, which is going there. And this one is a four and a half by five and a half photo mat. Now this one, I'm gonna to have to adjust a little bit for the picture because I had, um, uh, I, I wanna mat this, but it's gonna be matted different uh, cause I didn't wanna cut all the people's faces off. So anyway, this layout is going to be um, for a trip that we took to Hilton Head, South Carolina. And at the time I was, uh, it, this, it, I should say it was an event, it was a rally for our Integra Coach Owners Association. And I was a vice president at the time. And uh, we just met so many good friends, but I want to show you what the picture is. So these are some good friends of ours. This is Joy Skinner. She's customer service of Integra. This is our president's uh, wife, Pat. And this is Mary. And uh, they, her and her husband parked next to us when we went to Beth Cage to uh, uh, an event out there. And uh, they're just the sweetest, Virginia. which was in Virginia. Yep, so just the sweetest. And of course, that's me. So this one is gonna go right here. And as you can see, that it's gonna be matted from top to bottom, not side to side. Now you can do side to side, but when I was looking at it, of course, I didn't wanna cut my friend's face off, but it kind of, it, it didn't take away Away from the uh, the lighthouse. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a long day. So okay, and this one is actually the president of National Indoor RV Center where we bought our coach, our recent one. This is Brett Davis, and then we have Pat Bauer. This is his, uh, the president of our club. I'm put him there, and then these are some good friends of ours too. This is Rob and Rebecca Wright. And these folks are from Canada. This is Yvonne, her sweet, sweet friends. And she actually scrapbooks too. And uh, they, uh, they, we've met them a few different times, kept caught up with them at different rallies, but just some sweet people. And of course, you got the old couple, Lee and me. And then we're going to put that up there. All right. So that is what we are going to work on tonight. Do you guys like that? Oh, are you loving the design? Awesome. And I want to tell you now, you can use this and for anything and just substitute embellishments. Okay. So you can switch it around. And if you want to do flowers or if you want to do a Southwestern, you can do cactus and just a lot of different, um, a lot of different things that these will go with. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. Now I have picked, I showed you the two that I picked. And while she's getting that, it's kind of old. I know I repeat it all the time, but uh, afterwards she will post finished product. And in that finished product, she'll list all the templates used, the paper used, the embellishments used, and any other tricks or other yep. accessories that are there. So you'll be able to follow that if you aren't able to stay for the whole lives. So. Yep. And appreciate y'all. So, yes, do we do appreciate us, you so. so much. All right. So I know it's going to be hard to see on I'm this paper. Tell me what kind of triangles those? Sorry. Oh, I'm not. I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. So besides the minte paper, I also pulled a few sheets of. Nikki said, "Oops, just got distracted. Just got here. Love your design." <laughs> awesome. Um, I did pull a few sheets of eight and a half by 11. Uh, and look how solids. well they match. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? They match so good. I'm not sure if I want it to go that way or if I want to turn it and go. Called... Oh, sorry. Now, if you guys see these little green pieces of tape, that's to keep me inside the 
the viewing area. Hi, so. Bonnie. Hi, Cassandra. All right. So I'm going to show you some of the paper here that I picked out. So we just have some brown, some gray, and some rust. Okay. So we are going to start with rust. Rust. How about that? We're actually going to start with the rust and then we're going to do the gray. Samara the from Florida. Brown and then gray. High. Yep. I think we'll do it that way. Okay. So now we get to trace them. Wish we were in Florida. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't start. FYI, if you. We're showing seven degrees above zero without the wind chill right now. Hmm. The reason I, I chose um, the eight and a half by 11s, I do have quite a bit of it because I used to do smaller books. But when to do this on a 12 by 12, it wastes a lot of my paper. So I'm just using these. And I'm going to trace all of these. Solid paper. So you do not have to do the slide slide flip. Nope, you don't. And we're working, like I said, backwards, upside down, whatever you would call it. Most people, um, we've, we've all been taught that we need to do Deidre a solid. Says, I've never seen the Minte paper. Oh, I'll show you a few wow. other ones. Too. Uh, as soon as I get these traced, we will show you the other ones. And like I said, I love the design on this. I've not put it together. So if it doesn't work, well, we'll come up with something else. She will modify and what gets posted <laughs> will work. I know. Lee's always amazed at how many times I have looked at something, decided on it, and have to walk away for a little bit because I don't like it and come back. And all of a sudden it just, it works. I do a couple little things, add a couple more templates, a little doodle. And Linda Brock's rub it in. It's only 69 degrees in Florida. It's oh, you of, kind of chilly right now. You stink. No, you enjoy that weather. Just when you're done with it, send it up here. Uh, I don't know what Punk, I think Punk's a tunny Phil, the groundhog guy. <laughs> He uh, saw his saw shadow, his shadow. Yeah. but not here in the Midwest. No, no. Anyway, uh, uh, Samara said she keeps eight and a half by 11 on hand just for that. Yep. And she loves, loves the paper choice. Good, I'm glad. And we're also, believe it or not, we are going to add some blue in here. I'm going to make the lighthouse blue out of some of the mint. Bonnie paper. says we have a snow advisor tonight. We're here. Uh, their area in New Mexico. Mm. All right. And then Grand Rivers, Kentucky is on Darlene, and I think they may be in that line of snow also. Ugh. Uh, I'm going to make its own little triangle here. So I'm sorry if I'm out of the, the view. Guys, about that. And Okay, we we're getting there. Talking. You gotta keep, gotta keep talking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep entertaining. I was gonna give me a I'm gonna have to sing. <laughs> no, no, do that. Like no, 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 don't do that. Okay. So this gray actually has um, I want to call it like a a felt look or a, what do they call that suede look to it. Suzanne Connor from Pennsylvania. Hello. So glad you all joined us tonight. And if you have any questions of anything, please just type them down and we'll, we'll answer them as best we can. Uh, oh, has anybody got the new release templates yet? I know they were released on the first, so if you got them ordered, the triangle is a new one. And then the thank you kit, uh, it's a card kit. I've got that out too. I can show you that. Also, Jackie says hi. Sorry, she's late. Oh, you're not late. Not at all. Okay, there we go. Now, <clears throat> I am going to get my cover. Jennifer's from Michigan says they're under a winter storm warning. What are you supposed to get? Linda said she got her. She likes it. Awesome. Jackie got her new releases today. Jennifer loves what you're doing with the triangles. Very cool layout. I taught her everything. I showed her how to do it. <laughs> oh, guys, don't you that. love that? He takes credit, which is fine. 
That's fine. But I'll take the responsibility if yeah, I want you. you do. Gwendolyn says hi. Hello, Gwendolyn. Right there. Cut the centers Ooh, out too. Sherry from Casa Grande, Arizona. Ooh, ah, that's where our uh, scrapbook, scrapbook owner's, owner's parents yeah, live. They're, they're staying there for the yeah. Winter. And Linda Brock got hers. Awesome. Have you played with them yet, Linda? Deetra says uh, they're looking for freezing rain, sleet, Oof. and snow. I'll take snow in Western day. Kentucky. I will take no any of this too. I don't want to do this. Jennifer said we're supposed to get Oops. up to 14 inches between tonight and tomorrow morning. Ew. Please, please be careful. Yes. We complained about three inches the other night. And I don't think he would he would be so upset if we got that much snow right now. Oof. So. And our little Grace, he's finally settling down. She was not happy that Daddy put her in her kennel, crawled at him tonight. <laughs> so she's like, I don't want to go in there. So she's coming off of her cycle. Thank goodness. Guys, I'm not letting her go through another one. She's got to get fixed. I just can't. Mm -mm. Shirley Boykin says she uh, never thought of this uh, and loves when you share your ideas. Oh, and good. Tips. I'm glad. Hey, I'm one that I like to do something that's not the norm. That makes sense. I mean, I, I don't. Which is where Linda and I are from yes, originally. Yes, we are. Prophet's Town's where I'm from. And Linda's from a little town called Tampico. Your town. I went to school yeah, at true. Tampico. You went to school in Tampico. Yeah. I don't know if I'm like but kind of Northwest Illinois. Yeah. But I did go to school at Carbondale in Southern Illinois. Yep. Got my PhD there. I put hubby through. So. Actually, it, it was uh, we're talking about. Okay, I'm hoping to get my Duke templates today to follow on, but they didn't come. So boo, Aww. I'm gonna go rogue tonight. So <laughs> I would, I'd get out the old circle set. Do it. <laughs> Who the heck wants to use triangles anyway? Oh, you're funny. Uh. Linda says she got hers today. I think you said that before. Seven inches of snow in Illinois with one inch of ice. We're at in Illinois. I know we've got friends down around Peoria. Yeah. And uh, I think they were expecting a whole bunch. She farms and they are, she sells uh, creative memories, right? Oh, I wasn't thinking about her. I was thinking of the walkers. But yeah, oh, we've got yeah, her yeah. too. East yep. Okay. See, that didn't take long to cut that out. Not at all. Okay. Now I am going to take Hamill, Illinois. I have this... relatives from Harville, mm -hmm. Illinois, yeah. Litchfield, <laughs> and area of Central Illinois. All right. I'm going to take this one. Stacy says hi. Hi, Stacy. I sent her the layout earlier, guys, see what she thought of it. So she's she's got a little step ahead, plus she knows what paper I'm using. Okay, slice cutter. And this just- You're not gonna use a straight edge to guide your way? Don't have to with the slice. Really? Yep, look at that. Well, if you're a good slicer, you could actually lay- I know, but I'm not really drop, that talented. Over and come right down yeah, I'm there. not that talented. Sure you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> sure you are. I love this thing, guys. Uh, in fact, Stacy, she used, uh, I went down to the retreat house. She invited me down this earlier this week on Monday. Monday? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. And she, uh, I think she will have to uh, say yes or no, but she cut all those little um, dyes out. with Paper ones on. She was using them in a, she used a different pack. But I think she used this to cut them out with. So I just got a snip. See how quick that was, guys? Look at that. Look at that. I love that slice. All right. We only got a few more to do. Yeah. Hamill's not, Hamill, Illinois, is not too far from Collinsville, where you go down to the 
Creative Keepsakes, Creative Keepsakes Convention. Convention. Convention every so often. Don't think yeah, we get every there this couple, year. Every but. couple years. So, couple years. I got enough stuff. So I took up uh, some paper and bling and stuff to my granddaughter uh, about an hour and 20 minutes from here. And she was just ecstatic with them. In fact, she's got a birthday coming up on the 26th. So I want to show you what I made for her for a birthday card. February. Yes. What I made for her. Patricia birthday wants to know where did you get that slice glider? I got it from the uh, scrapbook store, Scrap Mania. And Jennifer wants to know is that life? Yeah, only it's better. It won't cut you. And Sharon wants to know. Um, I got to roll back up. I'm getting one of those. What's it called again? And Linda also wants the to know slice, what's it called. Slice. S L I C E. Now there's two kinds. There's one that has the longer blade. I like the one with the little bitty tip on it. And they're porcelain, so you, you don't have to replace them. And they actually uh, stay sharp and cut, but they don't cut your fingers. I don't know how many times I've used an exact myself. So. And we got a local scrapbook store. I think you can get them online yep. too in that, but if well, not, Stace, scrap mania. Yeah, Stacy can get them for you. So and who makes it again? Slice. S-L-I-C-E. Slice. Yep. Just like a slice of bread. Yep. My okay. my first one is a green and I really like it. Slice glider. Is that what it's called? That was it's just slice. slice. S-L-I-C-E. Stacy, if you're on here, help. I'm not sure. I think it's just it's just a she slice. Does have them in stock. Yeah. But is there is there another name or is it just the slice? I think it's just the slice. I actually got one from because um, he does carpentry work and stuff. And he uh, was buying an exacto knife the other day. And I'm like, oh, let me get you mine. I think you're gonna like it better. And so I bought him one. Oh, I tell you what, they're out on the, the island right there by the paper on that, that part of the island, uh, you know, the, yeah, where the bookshelf is. Grab both packages. There's two, there's two of them, and then I can show them which one. Steve, this is, uh, Lisa said that there's video interruptions are crazy. It must be the weather. I've yeah. been seeing it pop up the video interruptions. We have strong signal on. I going. think it's Facebook. Because it was, you think it could yeah, be? I think it is Facebook. Because Stacy um, says sluice, I think she means slice, probably an I instead of a U, since the keys are next to one another. You want to run out and grab those? And where do you order them at? I will go grab one. Uh, the island, you said is where they're at. They're right on the counter. There's two packages. There's this one and another one that I bought for Jacob, and then you can get them. We can show them. Uh, just you I can, won't cut myself with it. No, you can call Stacy 319-377-9999. Marshall wants to know what's the cutter called again? Slice. S L I C E. It is really, really good. I had I had my first one. I still have it. Um, golly, I've had it for years. And then I told Stacy about it and uh, she's been ordering them for uh, my class that I teach there at the store. So, and uh, as you can see, I mean, look at that. It's just, it goes so slick and it's not doing anything to my, my mat. Okay. We got one more after this, but um, it acts like a pencil in your hand. So you're you've got more control on it, and that's what I like about it, rather than just the odd shaped exacto knives. I've got the one that came in three sets, had the different blades on it. Never can figure out how to work them right without this way, cutting myself. There we go. I just have to take it apart. All right, one more, guys. Amazon is nine. What are you making with all the triangles? I'll show you in a minute, Helen. I'm not using borders tonight. I'm actually using the new triangles that just came out. And I'm using it instead of a border or a fun border. 
I'll put the design on in just a second here. Okay. I think we got them. Did you find them, Lee? You probably can't hear me. All right, let me move this. Put the lid on this. All right. Here we go. I have to ink them, of course. One. All right, Helen, are you watching? I didn't know what it was going to look like, guys, but I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. What do you think? You guys like it? No, nope, I hear him in the ice. So let's try this one here. And then this one matches up. Right there. Move that back. Okay, what do you think, guys? You like that? I'd like it. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so now that's our largest pieces. Now I'm going to use this one and grab the right paper here. We're using Minte paper tonight. And I know which one it is. The, this one. Okay, we're going to use that one. Whoops. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the whole thing out. But I'm going to go back and, and make an accent on the top and the bottom. Okay, here we go. Lee's got the slice. So this is what the slice is, a precision cutter. Sorry, I took time to put me a steak. Mm, yeah. Up. Replaceable safety blade. It says there's one on there. It's up to 11 times longer lasting versus steel. Ceramic technology, safer than traditional blades. Okay. So that's that one. And this is the other one I got my... Uh, son-in-law is she has Stacy has this one too but it's the one for $8.99 it's a craft cutter with ceramic blade and it has a, a more of a traditional tip and it also has a replaceable blade I have never ever replaced the blade in my my slice and I how long have I had that my goodness it's been a few years been a while so anyway these are the two this one was $12.99 and this one was $8.99 but you want the, the precision cutter with sliced ceramic blade. Okay. Helen wants to know, what are you making with all those triangles she got on late? I, I already showed her. Okay. I already got it done. All right. So we're going to take this and trace this. And I'm looking, what is so wonderful about the Kiwi Link templates is you can look right through it and see what you're cutting and where it's lining up at. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we're gonna trace this one out. So have you guys, um, have you ever used the Be The Light set? Had beautiful paper with it. I've got, I couldn't find the pictures I wanted to use tonight. And I'm wondering if I already scrapbooked them, I can't remember. Isn't that awful? It's back from so, 2012 when we went to Doris County. Yeah, I probably. It's, this is so thick. There's only one there, right? <laughs> it is nice paper, guys. So you're using the right side? Yes, I'm using the right side. Do a rough cut out and then yep. I always cut out it, um, like we said, a rough cut, and then we'll go back and. Just like I trained you. Oh, I know. You're so funny. So funny. So, um, Valentine's is coming up. You guys got any plans for Valentine's? I don't know. Are you home this year on Valentine's? Usually you're gone. Yes, I am. Oh, wrong way, guys. Sharon, you didn't ask me if I had my scissors right. I did but not. She did say she made a ton of vacation pages of the Michigan lighthouses. Ooh. And that was the one you scrapbooked before from the lighthouses on Lake Michigan, but over Door on County. the Wisconsin side. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I work for Light Energy based out of Madison, Wisconsin. And I get 
have the opportunity to head there on Sunday evening. So and he's gonna be gone for, for three days, guys. For meetings over there. Three days again. He was gone all last week. To Madison, Wisconsin. It was nice, but not nice. Yeah, the dog thought it was nice. She got to have my spot in <laughs> bed, my pillow. That's what I was gonna say. I come home, she's like, Don't you have somewhere to be? Don't you have to work? I need food. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't want to give daddy's side of the bed back up. So, anyway, um, there's something else I was going to say. It's about the new releases. Um, oh, they've got Olympic Games going on right now, so check that out. Um, maybe some challenges, I think I saw, and some giveaways. There's Miss Gracie. She said, you guys were talking about me. So. All right. There's that. Oh, that cute, guys. Look at that. I'm not done with it. We are going to use some white. 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 Or on the top. So these, when you see the cutouts, you can cut them out if you want to, or you can use them to um, use it as a stencil and then um, overlay it yep. on the one you did yep. cut out. I'm going to do this so that it has a little more depth. There we go. Mm, yeah, that's what I want. Depth or width? I want depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to overlay or the length? entire thing again are you gonna do 3d <gasps> i guess that's what you call it is 3d and i don't want to do that's that. one if you got those little elevator things <laughs> which you call what now what are those called? oh gosh i forgot about that yeah the elevator the pop dots yeah i'm not going to use the pop dots on this okay but um so anyway our ECOA, they put on. Um, this is Integra Coaches and yep. Association. Yep. They put on rallies. I think just about, just about every oh. month, and they go all across the United States. We didn't get to any of them last year or the year before, but this year we're hoping to. And uh, then we also belong to another couple of clubs. One is AIM, that is all inclusive motor coach, and that anybody can have any type of a coach. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm not done yet. And then, um, what's the other? Oh, Family Motor Coach Association. Guess what I'm gonna pull out, guys? Burlap. You know me and some burlap. We're gonna do the bottom. Oh, she is not happy in there, is she? And then I'm gonna do the top piece. Let's see how I do that. Use this. Guys, if you've never worked with burlap, I highly recommend it. It is so much fun. Miss Penrod said that she's ordered her slice. Thanks for the info. You're very welcome. Yep, I, I like the slice. It's my go-to. Here. And that big piece. And where is this going again? This is going to go here. Oop, I forgot to cut that off. It's like, why does that look so funky? Because I didn't cut that off. Here we go. Okay, so that. So that's going to go that, on the top. And that's going to go there. Oh, I forgot the roof. I got to do the roof. I might do the roof a different color. The roof of the light. lighthouse. This is the most detailed part is the lighthouse. Stacy said, I use burlap on my, I do Mente layouts. I did at the retreat house yep. on Monday. Yep. I was there when she was working on it. I didn't see it all finished until she posted it, but it was beautiful. I don't know what the name of that one was. 
Um, okay, so there's that. And then the roof, I am going to use a copper. We're going to do a copper Again? color. Uh -huh. copper. copper color. Did you cut some earlier? Did you, no. did you cut another sheet? No, I didn't cut anything earlier. When you did the triangles? Or the no, the that's triangles? rust. That's not copper. That's not copper. I need to do it on oh, this you side. You want to get the periodic oh. table, huh? <laughs> you guys see what I have to put up with? He is just so funny. So are you going to balance out the atomic weight between the copper? Mm, no. Hmm? <laughs> no. And the iron oxide. <laughs> That's what you get when you marry an engineer. You love it. I do. I love it. Okay, so this will be our top. Like I said, this is the most detailed part. So how do you put the windows in that cap? I'm going to make the windows. And I'll show you that in a little bit here. And the door, there's a door on it too. Really? Mm-hmm. So swing in yeah. or swing out? And then we have to ink it all. Guys, this is the, I mean, this is basically designing and do what I do every day. I have not redone this earlier. I thought about it. In fact, I couldn't sleep last night thinking about it on what all I wanted but to do. But all the finite stuff you have not thought about mm. yet, you're just doing it as you go. Yep. Okay. And then I'll put the windows and the door in. You guys like that? Isn't that pretty? I like it. So I'll leave that there so I don't have to finish. And then we need to do this piece, which I think we'll do it out of that same white that was at the top. And I do see a lot of that video pausing popping up. Like I said, our internet's good, so I don't know if it's between it's Facebook, Facebook I think. versus Zoom. I think so. Because I know when um, I was talking with Sonia from Kiwi Lane, uh, it was... It was acting up a little bit too, so it was cutting in and out. I do apologize. It's they probably the weather. Ought, ought to do Zoom or do Facebook. Well, it's this is the way so that they can record it, so they can put it on. Um, put you, it on, and plus, I think Facebook has a limitation too. Well, if you do web apps, you could do it anyway. It's it's. I'm sure it's the weather. Poor little Gracie, she's just not happy. All right, and then there's our surf. Stick that down. Okay, we still so we have water. Yep. And then we need to do a blue on this side. So I think, oh, I was gonna show you. So they also come uh, the small paper pads and I did pick one of these up for it and it's got the same designs only smaller the same brand yeah this is Minte so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and put this on it put what on it the seaside 7t the flower yep I am you can still see it, I hope. All right. Uh, barely, of course, you can't see it once it's on there. It's just so much. Very busy. You don't slide, slide, flip that one at all? Uh, it's just as busy on the other side. Well, it's this on the other side. I guess I could. That's one thing about Minte and uh, Graphic 45 is it is a very busy but beautiful papers. So... And it's got fairly heavy weight to it. The reason I bought the little one is because the patterns are smaller than the bigger paper. It's the same pattern, only about, oh, I'd say a fourth of the size of what it normally will be. But this will give me blue on the other side. So size does matter. You like the smaller size on that? On this one, yeah. When it's smaller, detailed stuff, I like the smaller pattern because the bigger one sometimes gets lost and you don't see it and um yeah this is really really pretty i mean it's not a red either it's a rust and you don't usually see the rust that often so 
so what any um any new news on you guys is in what's been happening and other than the storm you guys getting a lot of scrapbooking done Beatrice says can I get the paper on scrapbook.com I don't know I got mine from the scrapbook store here um I don't know that's a good question I'm not quite sure and she just ordered Darlene and her a slice tool awesome you're gonna love it um I know that Stacy has a bunch of them here let me show you real quick some of the other ones so hopefully it's not too glittery but this is another one it's called Mama Razzi. it's got all kinds of the camera um, really light pastel colors but they're bold pastel and then i got this one which is the county fair and it's kind of like a lot of vegetables in the truck oh it's country not county sorry country fair which country whatever one you wanted to be okay <laughs> so and they're really pretty colors there and i got one more Marsha also ordered the slice. This one, the mint paper, and it's got this cute little white kitten too. But these are gorgeous colors. Like I said, they, they remind me of the Graphic 45, um, but not quite as busy, but they're beautiful. They really are. Okay, so now I want to do, since you, it kind of gets lost with a pattern to pattern on this particular one, Lori loves the layout. She's friends with uh, um, in Memphis. Uh, uh, Jody. Jody, sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a solid piece and I'm going to make another one. And Molly loves the country fair. Well, from Michigan. Yeah. I, uh, every once in a while, I'll get gutsy and work with Graphic 45. I love it, but it can give me a headache sometimes working with it. So maybe you only need graphic 30 to. So. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Right. Okay. Well, I'm doing another stay and play crop at the store, and here I'm coming up in a couple of weeks at, at uh, in February and that's where you can come in and play with all the templates that I have and just play all day doesn't cost anything so at snow come to Cedar Rapids Iowa we'll take care of you yeah no obligation no nope. you can always go to Linda's site and pick out your own templates and order some yeah um did you guys take it, uh, speaking of templates, did you guys get it on the last chance stuff? I know there was a lot of stuff going out really quick. And um, I hated to see some of it go, like the tags and the circles, the rings. I mean, yeah, well, just rings. very sad to see some of it gone. And when are you doing your next live? Uh, February. Oh, February 26th, I think it is. I'm doing a live here again on the QB Lane Designs. And what was the topic? Do you remember what I told you? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. I got to think about it a minute. I know I signed up for it. The 26th. Well, it's, uh, another double page. Yeah, it's not. another layout. It's a free play, but I, I don't remember which all right, you guys see the, how that works like that? Isn't that cool? Moving my things. Okay. So that's a little bit of Larry. Yep. Again. Okay, we're gonna use this one with the copper that I cut. So we have copper here and copper there. This is probably the hardest template to cut out of all the Kiwi Lane templates, and it's really not that bad. Did the hardest said part she is didn't tracing. See the mint tape paper on scrapbook.com i think because i think it comes from poland i think and there's only certain people that can get it certain stores and stuff so you can get it right there from stacy so and uh the, she's got a whole bunch i i didn't even get near to close to everything that they had 
there's just and then there's also um well if you if you search for strap maybe there's a video or there's on it too uh but there are tons of like cutouts and they're 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 kind of like the wooden real thin wooden ones and um yeah mente i mean and it's awesome paper it's like really really good paper it's like the kiwi lane stuff it's really Victor thick. wants to know what's printed on the templates it looks like little eyes oh okay those are my um it's uh washi tape so when i go to a crop and somebody borrows a template i know that it's mine so i i mark all of my personal templates with a certain washi tape and then like my class ones they have a different color on them, so i know that they're my class ones. So you go to crops and you're afraid of losing them. Uh, put them, put a piece of washi tape on it and they'll mark yours. Also too, if you lose it on the table, there was a couple of, uh, there was a gal that commented the other day on Facebook that she loses her templates, <laughs> accidentally throws them in the trash. So uh, I have a basket or a little tray that I use to put the templates in as I'm, I'm working, except for when I do lives, it kind of just goes all over. But um, if you have the tape on it, you can actually see it a little bit better when it's on the table. And Rochelle says hi, and she loves the train. Just something different. Jean says know? on the 28th, it shows you with a gnome layout. That's it. I'm okay. I'm doing a Valentine's gnome. That's what I'm doing. Valentine's no. Valentine's no. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. What the heck's a Valentine's no? <laughs> You're gonna have to watch to find out. Okay, so now I'm going to do this one, which goes up here. Ruby says we had a buffalo show up at our house yesterday. Your layouts look like a fence we had to. Uh, I had used to load him up to take home. Well, there you a go. Buffalo. There you go. How many people have a buffalo show up at your place. That's <laughs> Not me. Deal. We've had turkey and deer and fox, but no, no buffalo. Of. Okay, this template here is from Captions, the journaling templates. Love them. This one's Caption Six. You don't have to use it as a journaling template, which I'm not. I'm actually just using it as a place for my title to That's go. That's called an ellipse. An ellipse? Or a zeppelin. Hmm. You use it just about for anything. The shapes. Your blip, whatever you want. The shapes of the journal journaling uh, templates are all different. And you can use them as the journaling template, or you can use them for mats, or you can use them just for like what I'm doing. Michelle said it's cold here. It's one. One. We're showing seven, so I guess we're warmer here. Laura Ruka says this is looking wonderful. Awesome. Never disappoint me. Thanks for sharing your time. Aww, you're so sweet. Okay. Well, now we've got we've got our splat. We've got our shell. Oh, can't get a hold of it. Oh, there we go. We got our anchor. You haven't cut those out yet. No, I haven't cut them out yet. I'm trying to decide what we want to do with them. I think you guys know me and my bling. I think we'll do a little bling on a couple of them. And I do like that one. That little flower you're doing looks like a germ. It, yeah, you could be if you have it done. It's like the, a COVID-19 with eyes on it. With them. There you go. Yeah. That's on it. Yeah, if you don't have the contagion template from KiwiLink when they uh, came out with it with the pandemic, you could use this one for a germ or a water splat. I think that's kind of what they intended. It was a ink water splat. splat. Yeah, ink splat. Boy, look at you go, hon. Look at you go. Ink splat. I guess paint and ink are similar. Paint, yeah, paint you could do. And this is just a little piece of glitter cardstock. You know me, I always have to add a little bling. Oops, I moved my template. 
Well, I saw the Rochelle study in Milwaukee. We were talking earlier tonight about Door County. We were looking to use those pictures tonight. We've already used them before. Yep. Door County, but we're overdue to go back there again. Some apples and some cherries. And wonderful bakery right there in the county. That was nice. All right. We are almost done with this, guys. Just a couple more things here. See how fast it goes? My goodness. This is one of the fastest well, you ones. You get all the inking. Yeah, well, we got the ink in. The glue down. I think I'm going to use enamel dots instead of gems tonight. I'll keep it a little. The only bling I'm going to do is the shell and the inside splat of the flower. Do you all like to work with glitter paper? Good glitter paper. I mean, I don't like bad glitter paper. If you all know what is I'm talking about. Yes, paper? there is because it, um, oh, in that pink bag that I took my bag right there. It's blue. <laughs> Are you asking to do something? <laughs> yes, over You're there. Asking a question. <laughs> no, I'm asking you to go grab it. Uh, crimper. I couldn't think the name of it. I need the crimper. crimper? I need the crimper and not a like hair a crimper. Grim Reaper? <laughs> what did you get into tonight? Oh, by the way, guys, I did make him a nice dinner. We had. But I didn't get no. That was lunch. I didn't get dinner. Oh, you didn't get dinner. Uh, he got a nice, nice big homemade sausage gravy and biscuits. I know we talked last night or the last time that we had it in a box. Still haven't eaten the ones out of the box. No, it's not the cutter. It's a crimper. Um, uh, anyway, it, I made homemade from scratch. So. And then you expect me to work. Yeah, and then he got done. And he's like, I can't go back to work. I need a nap. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm sorry. This is only the hot meal you're going to get today because, yeah, I got tonight. So. But so that is a crimper. That is a crimper. That's what I need. Yes. A corrugator. A corrugator? Paper crimper. You guys still have your crimpers? You know what I'm talking about? Lee's going to show it up under here in the camera. I don't want to let go of my cut and show it. That's what we got. So y'all still got one of them? Yeah, you could turn it. Keep your fingers out. Keep your, if you oh, wear a tie you. or any kind of loose clothing. <laughs> it won't do anything. All right. I'm going to see how it looks. I'm going to take a piece. Could be OSHA hazard. Here, let me see. Okay, so you put it in here. I want to see what it's going to look like first before I actually do it on my template. Yeah, we may reject that idea. Oh, nope. I like. Okay, so you guys know the shell. You do like or you I don't? do like. And I'm going to do it this way, though. Okay. All right, here we go. Janice Look at that. Says she likes the no shed glitter paper. Yep, exactly. She got it. Yep, good glitter paper. Did Sharon you guys says see that? I like the CTMH glitter paper, whatever that is. Close to my heart. Okay, I take your word for it. Close to my heart. Um, what if I should do the splat? Why not? Let's do the splat. Laura says, No, I've not had one of those. I assume we're talking about the crimper. Yep. Deborah says, I still have crimpers. Look at that, guys. Look at the crimp. How much of a design that puts on there. That is cool. Okay, so all we have left is the boat anchor and the matting on a couple of pictures. So what all did you crimp here? I missed out on that. I crimped the shell and I crimped the splat. So I'm going to use this blue. Did it hurt it? <laughs> no, it didn't hurt it, honey. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. So, and I've got some uh, twine that Michelle I'm going to use. Says, I need one. Can you still get it? Uh, probably somewhere online. I can't tell you. See, this was by Corrugator, which was by Marvy. I'm sure you could get them somewhere. Um, not sure. But I have this one. I, oh, um, Kristen said a lady gave her a bunch of old scrapbook stuff, and there was a crimper in that stuff. So she's pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. And if you can't use it, I think Rochelle could use it, Kristen. So. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I never got rid of. I like my crimper. Okay. So I got the boat anchor. I've got this twine. 
baker's twine. I'm going to use it to wrap around the A chicken? anchor. No. The anchor. After I ink it. Darlene said hers is by Fiskers. Fiskers? I didn't know Fiskers made one. I have one that has hearts on it. Yeah, Fiskers is out of uh, Middleton, Wisconsin. Here by Madison. Oh yeah, we we tried to get we called and tried to get them to uh, start making the teardrop punch again that we use. You know, on Kristen's used it too on our not funky frills, fancy frills temp our templates. So, but they said nope, they're not doing it again. But we saw the buildings right across from Costco over yep. there. Uh, but uh, Joanne says, I have an old crimper. It's made by Fiskers. Hmm. And Dietra wants to know, can you give me the scrapbook store's website? Um, it's just look on Facebook. It's just look up Scrap Mania in Cedar Rapids. You'll know it because it has a big pink, uh, a big pink sign on top of the building. You know uh, the phone number. But yeah, I the phone. I just know the phone number. They don't have a website you can buy on yet. Uh, but they have pictures of the new product that comes in, and there's video also for new product that they get in on so, Facebook. On Facebook, yep. So just look up Scrap Mania in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and you'll find it. I think it's scrap, uh, scrapmania.com. I think Stacy, if you're on here, type it up for me, please. I just automatically have it set in my favorite, so I don't look. That's bad, isn't it? I should keep track of the places that I visit. Lisa the says they sell the crimper on Amazon for twenty two ninety nine. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I think you paid like ten something. <laughs> it's quite teams. old, though. Quite old. What left is the matting for the pictures, and then the little. And Stacy did put them. her Facebook page. Okay, up. there you go, guys. Can't, can't order from. You can't uh, order from the it. website, no. but the Facebook. You can. So then you can see what the minte papers are. Um, oh, I didn't. I got to punch that hole out. <laughs> yeah, the anchor. How are you going to tie an anchor up unless you put a rope or something on? I'm going to put this twine on it. But you don't have a hole. Yeah, and your point. You can't put a rope on it without a hole. <sighs> Not what you said. Okay, so for the windows, I think I would use the same glitter for the windows. Oh, if I do it that way, I only have to make a couple of cuts. Oh, wait. Why did and I... Lisa said, that's what I thought. I don't remember paying that much for mine, but I've had mine for a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like us. Ours was bought in the last century. In the door, I that one? The, last, the last century. Oh, that's sad. I feel old now. Why'd you make me of course, feel this old? This is 22, I guess. So it has been a while. That's Two? Quarter of a century ago, just Two. get to the last century. <laughs> two, two, two. All right. We got one window. So yeah. Marshall wants to know, what does the crimper do? So can you pick that piece up and take some time and show it? Okay, that way. You can see it that way. It makes it look like it's corrugated. And there were different shapes. I have a one that does hearts. So it, it it's kind of like embossing, but with the... It gives it a third dimension, if yeah, you will. Kind you of go. a relief to it. So when you put it, it puts looks like it has texture to it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kind of like if you had a nice smooth steak and you took and you tenderized <laughs> You're hungry, it. Aren't it you? has kind of a. You're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then I well, need to make a door. Alive, somebody was making, uh, I don't remember what it was, was it gravy? And I don't remember what it I was. I need you gravy and biscuits. Yeah, I don't need gravy and biscuits, but maybe somebody's making something else. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna look here I real quick. We had somebody off in New Mexico earlier. They might have some of those hatched chili peppers. Those are mighty fine. Hmm. I'll just take this and make a door. I'm 
I use that. I want that dark she red. Says she loves that color blue. I know it, it come in a six by six uh, card pack. And I may be different ones. mispronounce your name. It might be Detra, but uh, I call it Detra. You went to school with some teachers. That's why. Ooh, Rochelle should have had me come over. They had steak and potatoes and corn for supper. Uh, nummy. And if I saw right, you went to school, I think, in the Milwaukee area. I'm building a soul of Wisconsin Rapids, and that's where a lot of the cranberries are from in Wisconsin. I told Linda this next September we need to come up to do some of those celebrations they have around the cranberries. What What is the place that we want to go up there around in Michigan? What's it called? Michigan or Wisconsin? No, Michigan. What was the place? It's around Petoskey. Petoskey, that's it. There's a couple of really nice RV parks right up there. I okay. think it's called Hearth, Hearthside or Open Hearth or something like that. Okay. Hate to buy the bag was a purple hand punch. Which bag we took? The one you were just in. My my bag uh -huh. that I used to go cropping with that one. Okay, guys. Bonnie so, says yes. Love that hash chili. So do I. So Melissa says that's a, we need a this. cute lighthouse. Ellen said we have spaghetti and garlic bread. Oh, that sounds, sounds good. good too. Haven't had that in Sonia years. Said they had taco salads. They gotta give us this menus ahead of time. <laughs> now I need to look and see what I can Sweet use. Sweet and for sour Matthew. chicken Sharon had. Oh my gosh. I know. And Molly says that's her area around Potoski, Michigan. Yeah, I'll have to look up what that uh for and it's a camp. A uh, real nice upper in campground where you can actually buy a lot, but you can come there and stay. It's, um, I think it's called Hearthside, I think is what it's called, but there's two or three really nice ones right there in the Potoski area. We're going to come up there this summer. Yes. i got some friends that go up there. And, uh, okay, we're going to use this. They'll have to do a crop or something up there. We're going to get Molly and some others from that area and do something. That'd be good. But what was it you want me to get you again? Hand punch, hole punch. Okay. All right. I'm going to try something, guys. We'll see how it looks. Okay. This is a mat. And instead, regular scissors. I'm going to try a distress. They call these deckel, fiskers, deckel. And I'm going to follow right along. That's short for deformed. So silly. Same bag? Yeah, there. It could be on an outside pocket. It's it's on the tall pocket on the side. I know it is. Could be. Is. I know it is. This sounds like a wild goose chase. No, it isn't. It's on one of the outside pockets. It's not that big of a bag. How big of a it's bag? Got yogi candies in it. Like yeah, it. that's it. So, um, how big of a scrapbook bag do you guys take when you go to a crop? I found one that's actually a a, a a backpack from We Are Memories. I love it. I take my big toe to templates, fill that up with some paper, and off I go. All right, and I have a little pencil mark here i don't normally arrange uh i want the bigger one there's a bigger one there's a light purple one and an and another one either the medium or the this one yep that's what i want you might want to grab the other one just in case see that one doesn't work okay so we're well there's that. three here i'll give you all three Woohoo! all right we got that one and then i'm gonna do this one Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I have three hole punches, small, medium, and large. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing. It's kind of like Mama Bear. Papa Bear. Bear. And Baby Bear. Okay. All I says, let her know when we're up there. We'll do that. Okay. 
time, you guys will have to follow us in all of our journeys. You'll, uh, we'll have to go live from different areas across the country. Maybe we'll catch up and do a live with you. A live live. A live live, a yeah. One. We're getting excited. Okay. I know it doesn't look like much now, but we're going to see if it works. Okay. So the whole, see if this one. That'll work with a stiff one. Okay. Now I have a hole. Pull this down. I don't want to rip it. There we go. Heart side is the one I was talking about. It's uh All right. here we go. Now we're going to eat. And it's your one for Toasty, Michigan. Now, if you guys have to get off, let Lee know real quick, because I want to make sure I show you the birthday card before you got to go, okay? Because I used the triangle, the large triangle, and I used the flower out of Groovy. I used uh, Frolic, the tiny border. I used... Uh, oh, I used the uh, the new uh, thank you card kit. I had to think of what else I used. Cassandra says you could do a whole Kiwi segment on scrapping in an RV. Yeah, that sounds like fun. We got to yeah. name for that. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a contest for that. All right. So Nikki wants to know what do you use to store and transport your templates. <laughs> It is a um, rolling file, a rolling file box. Um, it's black and it's about, uh, what is that? About 20 by 20, almost 20 square, 20 by 20. And um, it has a lock on it. So it used it's just, to be a 31 bag, but yeah, it got a little bigger. In fact, I'm outgrowing this one too. So, but and I think you bought it at what's the office? Office Max. Office I got Max. it at Office Max. Yep. Yep. Uh, Rochelle says she's going to a crop at a camp in Firth, Nebraska. Oh, we're going to be out in Nebraska. What month is that? In August, we have our FMCA rally. It'll be in Lincoln at the fairgrounds. So. Okay, I'm using a, um, this is by Tim Holtz, Ranger, Wooden Dauber, the Vintage Photo by Tim Holtz, Distress. This is a very cool. And a, and a rounded, it's also by Ranger, the, the rounded one. I'm loving it. I had the, the square one, and this is so much better. You can get down in there on those corners. corners. Yeah, you know, small it's things. really nice. Rochelle said that first Nebraska is on March 4th, 5th. And that would be fun. that's coming up yeah, along the way. If I could get my RV out, I would travel. You do have a there. pickup truck and a car. Mm, yeah. We're in Iowa. Nebraska's the next state. I know. So have you guys ever been out that way? Have you been to Sioux Falls? Oh my gosh. The South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah, but it's right next to the Iowa border. Um, rock formations and okay, waterfalls. Rock. It's a pink quartz, isn't it? Yep. Oh my gosh, gorgeous! If you if you want to see something that is beauty, beautiful, natural uh, made, you gotta go see them. So and then you can start your way on out, hit the Cord Palace and 1880s Waldron. town on your way to Waldron. Yep. To Mount Rushmore and into the Black Hills. Yep. But this time here, they're the White Hills. We're getting there. We're getting there. These will take the longest. Now, those triangles can be a little tricky to get down in that corner, can't they? This this thing is not having any issues whatsoever. Even on the smaller ones. Mm -mm. So you guys, are you cropping too tonight? Right along here? 
we uh what's he gonna say we've been doing uh some we're trying to catch up our insulins um, Nolans. Nola at night. So I'll take some scrapbook stuff out there in the living room and watch it out there. Oh, poor Gracie. She's just not happy. So Nikki says, thank you. I start out with an awesome little tote with a lid that had a handle. It was perfect until I outgrew it. And then I had to add a second one. I'm about ready to outgrow it. <laughs> Three is not a good option, so I'll be looking for something different. <laughs> well, the file box, I have just that, about two. Diana says I'm making cards now. Oh, awesome. Um, actually, I got to show you this happy birthday one. Let me get the triangles done, and I'll show you the happy birthday. Uh, it, was, it was really weird because I did not know that Facebook posts whatever you post on there on Instagram. And I've been, <laughs> and my granddaughter this morning, when I made the birthday card for, she saw it and she liked it, but she didn't see all the cards. She just saw the, the happy birthday part. But I'm like, oh, I got to fix that. <laughs> so we're going to go up and give her her birthday card and her, her birthday present, probably on Saturday. When's your the 26th of February. Is that one? One more here. Oh, Gracie, you're so upset. Can you guys whining? She doesn't whine like a normal dog. She kind of half whines, half growls. Marks. Kristen says, I'm not scrapped with you tonight because my husband and I are trying to escape the winter ice storm. And we're headed our way in Kentucky. We have Ooh. a wedding in South Carolina, so we left early to hopefully beat the ice. Yeah, I hope so too, Please Kristen. Be Please be careful. South Carolina is one of our favorite states. We have a rally we might go to in October in Conway, which is pretty close to Myrtle Beach. So I should have done that like that. That works. Suzanne says I arrived at hotel for a crop beginning tomorrow morning through Sunday. Took some time while watching you to trim uh, photos. Thank you for watching. Appreciate that. Okay, let me do these real quick. If you guys don't mind, I'll get these done. And yes, I do ink the glitter paper because there's white that shows in there. And this little dome thing gets in there just fine. Okay, that's pretty good. This one. Oh, I know, I was gonna show you something else too I got. I found this. It's called Ink Refresher. It's also by Ranger. You, it's for water-based stamp pads and markers. So you spritz this on your pad and it makes the ink go longer. Kind of keeps it hydrated. Yeah. I love it. I did it tonight because mine felt like it was a little dry and I, I just re-inked it. Of course, you told me you're going to show them the birthday card. Yes, I, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish these up. People are dropping off. Okay, we'll get the card. Let me finish this piece. Okay, so the triangles, when I saw them, let me lay this down. First thing I thought of was my granddaughter's birthday and a birthday hat. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. It's a triangle. This, this here was already on the paper. But I, this is um, out of the frolic. These, this is groovy. Now check this out. So you open it up and double-sided paper. So this came out of um, ah, it's the the golden summer's golden or something like the kit. And then these are from the uh, new one. These little flowers, the leaf, and this. And I made a pocket. Done. And I put a little doily behind it. And then I just wrote handmade by Nana. To make this though, I didn't use a regular scoring. Let me show you what I used to put it together. Got some comments. How cute, how clever. I love the card. 
Okay. I love the cache in it. <laughs> so you can make me one of those. This is a la carte placemat four. It has a la carte these, treasures. It has these, Ginny said. these little uh, tabs on it. So this one. And when I cut it, when I cut this piece out, I just laid it on there and I made three tabs. So then all I had to do was put the tabs onto the other piece and then just glued it on. And then it automatically just had a little fold. And then um, I didn't like the double side so on this one. So I put, it's a hinge. And then I just put a solid piece on the back. So yeah, and then we blinged it. She loves bling. So we blinged it up. And this is where I'll write. I just golden. That's what it is, that piece. All the rest of them, though, are from the thank you card kit that's come out. So, and that one's from Groovy. And the $100 come with it? Mm, yeah, there's $100 with it. Uh-huh. Papa's going broke again. All right. Papa, keep working. <laughs> so we'll go back to finish up. We have three more pieces to ink. And Pinrod says she loves the card. Yeah. It's, Samantha I think she's going to love adorable. it. Adorable. Darling says, very cute card. Tanya says, adorable. Molly. Says, I'll leave so it. Um, yeah, I just took two groovies and just did the same thing as I did on the little flower up there from Tiny Seaside. So, see a little trim I need to do. I missed. There we go. Use your slice to do that trimming. I could have, but I, this worked just fine. Okay, that goes up there. Pictures. And we'll start sticking it down. Whoa. Okay. Now I like. You guys have seen before, I like to ink my pictures. If you haven't tried it, try it. I think you might like it. Okay, what time we got? Hey, we're doing good. Doing good on time. So when I was vice president of the ECOA, I was in charge of membership, so. It was fun to be able to know everybody that was in the club and their names and what they did and keep in touch with them. I like that part, but I do miss it some, but I was in it for quite a few years and I just with the pandemic that hit, I was just ready to go on to a new adventure. But we still want to catch up with everybody. I mean, our beers, the motorhome people are just so nice and you get to learn from where they're from. And okay. Sandra has a question. Here sure. I think it's on the card. She said, so the triangles are actually two different pieces of paper and you put it together with those tabs. Yes. I put, I just trace the tabs extra. Yep. And you glued them to one. Yep. Then I glued the other side to the other triangle. Yep. And then Made a hinge. Yes, I did. All right, let's stick it. Trusty ATG gun. This was not the first time that I used an accessory to make a border. So you don't always have to use them, the borders. You can use other things as well. If I get this down. Oops. There we go. Okay. This one. This will be the hardest part, getting it lined up with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on both of them. This one and this one. These will make great banners on your page too, if you like doing that. Okay. 
here we go now Do you need a whole one? No, I'm just going to get this lightly there. Oh. Okay, one side down. And let me put this on. And like I said, I'll do some doodling and do some enamel dots. Is that one? No mat on that one. Nope, no mat on that one. That one here. This is gonna go underneath. Just a tad. Gotta work fast. Okay, this is that one. Now this one up here. Okay, we're gonna put this here. Do you guys like that scissor look, that deckle look on, on the back side? I really like using deckle scissors or any of my Fisker scissors, I like using them. This one. And then we've got this, which I am gonna use some elevators. <laughs> Who was it that said that? That was so funny. The elevators. Uh, That's what I called them. Yeah. Uh, we call them pop tarts or something. Pop, pop tarts. Pop dots. That's it. I call them elevators because they're raised it up. Yeah. Trying to think about that. Hmm. Why not? We're gonna do double pop dots. Okay, and this goes like this. And then this. The hardest part is the abs off the top of these. All right, we're gonna put that right if there. Anybody see something here that they want? Um, you can go to Kiwi Lane and get it, or you can go right to your site. Yep. And you can help out or give you a call or reach out to you on Facebook. So okay, that goes there. And then this. I'm gonna use a little glue. I got a new bottle, guys. I put the in this one. This one has a finer tip on it. It is fine line applicator. There was this fine, and then there's a standard one in the same package. I got it at the store. So, and we're gonna stick this little guy. Just it's like that. Okay. Now we got one here to do. You are going to put some embellishments on that. Yes. I think I'll put a little, I've got a little seashell on it too there. And I may mat them yet. I don't know. I'm going to leave those off. We're going to do this side. That one is done pretty much, except for I'm going to doodle, put some enamel dots. Now uh, this side. So anybody coming out there, Lee? You're nope. up all quiet. Nobody's coming. Everybody's working. We had some people <laughs> drop off. Had a few. Uh, it's getting late. I mean, I really appreciate you guys staying with us, but I know it's late for some of you. If you gotta go, understand. Can always catch it. There is a replay. Okay. Sticky tape tonight. Woo. 
All righty. Now, the trick is, can I get it the same way as I did before? Let's line this up. And like I said, you can use this pattern on anything. You just have to um, change out the, the accessories on the side. Miss Pinrod, I want to know what was the glue that you used? Um, it is the Artcraft glitter glue. Is what I'm in a different bottle because the the bottle that I had, I needed to replace the tip on it because it was clogging up, and so I found this bottle, and this works really good. Um, it's fine line applicator. They have a fine line. Fine tip and a standard one together. Laura said, I think we're all watching your work. Watching that, me that, work. That's the fun <laughs> part. Laura from Memphis. Okay. And Chris is listening to me and you talk. Uh, okay, that's pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. Vicky says, thank you so much. Beautifully creative layouts. I've got to take care of my little man this morning. Mm. So good luck with that. Yeah, we've been those shoes. Deborah says, this looks great. Love the browns, the rust, and the blues. Especially love the use of our new triangles. Yeah. Two, and then I'm going to wrap some twine around it. I'm going to get a little sloppy with this because I want it to look like it's rusty. And some places I won't. I'll just leave it. There's that. We got our shell. This down. Lisa says, very cool design. Thank you. Like I said, you could use you it. Glue down your Zeppelin. Yeah. You can use it um, for like Southwestern pattern. You could even make them go, well, let me turn it this way. You could even do it this way too, guys. Isn't that cool? If you go that way, I like that way. But yeah, you can move it different directions. This one, I need to pop that. Elevate again. Elevator. <laughs> Elevator again. <laughs> one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter. What are you going to use? I don't know what this is. It's by Scrapbook Adhesives. The same one. You, I think you can still get them on kiwilane.com too. In the, in the shop. It. I have no idea. Maybe five sixteenths. Maybe they're not very thick. Get all these little poppy things off. Kristen says it's a very creative layout. I love how it's turning out. The colors are great too. Oh, glad you like it. Actually, it wasn't the pictures I wanted to use, but like Lee said, I think we must have already done them because I couldn't we find them. Go somewhere else where there's a lighthouse. So you can yeah. Use Okay, so that's gonna go there. And then, ooh, I gotta get my string, don't I? Twine on that. Let's see what we can do. Made in the good old US of A. Baker's twine. What do you bake it? I'm not baking it. What's no, baker's now I gotta find the end. There we go, maybe. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, you can use any kind of string you want. We'll see how this works. Okay, I'm going to put it through the hole. And I'm going to tie a knot. Just a single one. And then I'm going to do some wrapping. Let's see. All 
You might need a shrimp on there. Need a shrimp. <laughs> or a crab or a lobster. Okay. Then I think there's enough. I'll glue this down later, but I'm going to glue that all the way around that piece. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And now we got to do this. Oops, I guess I do this one first. Go and stuff down. Ink my lighthouse. And remember, I told you this was just going to be at the top and the bottom. I just want a little something behind them. Or for Memphis, it's a cute idea. Okay, this one. Put it, it is done. Okay, oops, moved it. Okay, now we gotta ink and stick all this together. No way. Yes, it's the last of it. And like I said, I'm gonna put a title up there on the top. And I'm gonna do some doodle work along here on the triangles. And some of your dots you're gonna put. The enamel dots. I'm gonna put those around somewhere. I've got some white and some gray and some pink enamel dots. Okay. This is ready to go down. Do I pop that up or do I leave it flat? Hmm. I think we should pop it. I think we should pop it. I, I agree totally. We're gonna to pop that whole big thing up because I'm gonna put the other ones flat. All right, here we go. So, what else can we tell them? From Grand Blanc, Michigan. So I'm just getting on the life you know, as I was Zoom scrapbook you with my weekly group. Ooh, fine. I love what I'm seeing. You're amazingly creative. Oh, well, thank you. Say, thank you. I taught one day. <laughs> you guys believe him? Really? Darlene really? says, pop it. Was like yes, we did. We popped it. Penrod says, pop it. <laughs> Definitely, we are popping. All right. All right, we're going to stick this one on top. And then my copper top. Get a hold of it here. My copper, give him a little inky. Trim there. Okay, this one I'm gonna have to glue because it's mighty tiny. I'm gonna take the whole cap off. Don't do that. No, these little bottles work really good. I'm I'm really liking it, and it's a. If you guys can see what I'm doing, am I in the picture there, Lee? I want them to see this. If not, I'll go I don't top. see it. Okay. You're off the picture. All right, I'm off, so I got to get back on. I'll do it on the next one. I like this art craft glitter glue. It's it dries almost instantly once you get it together. Which really means really you like gotta it. be pretty accurate. Yeah, you gotta be quick. Ah. I'm gonna get this piece. Oh, see how fine that is. I love this. The other one was getting hard for me to squeeze. And this one's kind of less is more. You don't necessarily mm -hmm. need more glue. Yeah, you're right. Less is more. Okay, put our little burlap piece on. <gasps> Does the burlap glue pretty good? It's yeah, because it's paperback. It. It's paperback, so it, it, okay. it does real fine. Because I would think real burlap would be really difficult to. Well, it's real burlap on the front, it's not, which is good. Okay, let me do this one. So, did you put marks for you putting these on where these windows are? Or are you just They're, kind of placing them? I'm just placing them, but it is on the template. I'm a little off, but that's okay. It's 
I'm not going to matter. I can be creative. Okay. So what, that's what's so good about the KiwiLink templates. You can be as creative as you want to be. Okay, now we got to do the bottom piece. You see, I'm not putting very much on at all. Not much at all. Up here where you can see it. Put my little red door, which I need to ink around. Do you have a door handle on that? No, but I can draw one. You want a door handle? You should always have a hybrid <laughs> open door and a door handle. We could draw a door handle. Or is it like a bar door you just push? It? Okay. What do you think, guys? You like that? I think that's a cute little lighthouse. We are just about finished. How about that? Just about finished. You know, we appreciate each and every one of you guys that, that join us on the craft ins. We really do. And uh, it's, I know it's late for some of you. And it's late for us too. We usually turn into pumpkins by eight o'clock. So we feel ya. All right, here we go. So cute. Ms. Penrod said, Dawn said, super adorable. Okay, now we've got the C, the billow. We wanna put it, I think we're gonna have to pop that too. I think we're gonna have to double pop it. What did I do with my pops? There we are. Okay, have to double pop it. Double? Wait. So what's that technically called? Putting one on top of the other. Usually, I, I, I like using the foam tape to do that, but we're all right here. This will work. Just got to do twice as much. Kristen says she really enjoys watching your live crafters. Thanks for taking the time to do them. We'll be back on the 28th of February. Is it the 28th? Okay. Yeah, we're doing the gnome. Yeah, the whatever. gnome Valentine's paper. Well, I, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I understand Valentine's. I understand oh, well, gnomes. You know. <laughs> but how do you put gnomes and Valentine's together? That's it's kind of different. It's by photo play, guys. So if you want to look for it, it's the, the, the new Valentine paper. And uh, we're going to do a layout with it. No, it's photo play. Okay, but you have special templates for that then? Or? That's the paper. Photo play is the paper. You going to show any special tricks during that one? You never know. Oh, you know, guys, we always do. We always want to show you something. Something that you can use. And then we want to show the card again. So here's the birthday card again. Oh, open it up. We made a little pocket with the thank you uh, card kit, the new one. That's for my little munchkin. All right, we've double popped. Rochelle says she enjoys you guys. We enjoy her also enjoying us. Okay, all right, you guys gotta tell me, matte or don't matte, or just put a little accessory there. What do you think? Maybe? You Wait. always need accessories. Well, I've got this little little piece right there. I think we could do something with that, right? We need to cut it out. So what color should we use? We use gold. The we use anything we didn't use on this side? Oh, the white. We didn't use the white one. We can do that. Just like the C, you mean? I'm trying. I can't get that on there. It's too fine. Oh, uh, the white paper. Let me grab it. My focus won't. <laughs> my focus focus are not focusing. My focus are trying to focus. Oh, goodness, they're not working. This is from Tiny Seaside 2T. So I use Tiny Seaside, the new triangles. I use the lighthouse from Be the Light with the Anchor. Uh, it was a monthly kit. And then this was from April last year, the monthly kit. And you will post all this. Afterwards. I will post all of it. After I get the little bling done, and so this is a good way too to use up your eight and a half by elevens because that's the only twelve by twelve I used were the two background and a uh, I used a piece of it out of there and 
Nikki the said you guys yeah. are great fun to hang with out your layouts Aww. and tips you always inspire for me. Darlene says Matt. Rochelle says don't Matt. Got it. Molly says little accessory. Yep. Nikki says I think the flower would be perfect. Kristen says no Matt. Ruby says just like you have it. Tanya says can't wait for that class. <laughs> so don't Matt it. Don't Matt it. Well I'm glad. Everybody feels the same way. I'm not Matt. So. Our son stays Matt. <laughs> what made you think of that? Oh, Matt. <laughs> oh God. M A T T versus M A T. Okay. That little, sorry about that. That little ding you heard is my little glass tray I keep my ink in. Then it doesn't get all over everything. The dauber. Yeah. All right. So is this the single? Elevator, double elevator. Single. This is the only double. I usually don't do double, but that needed to be a double. All right. So I guess the takeaway from this, guys, is you don't always have to use a border on your page. You can use the rings. You can use the triangles. And but you, you can border. use borders also. Yes. All right, I don't want to cut Cliff off. All right, and then I'll add some enamel dots and some doodle and a title, and it's complete. Ta-da, there we go. And you're gonna put some bling in the middle of your waves and maybe that flower. Yeah, we'll see what I come up, up with. Right. I like to keep you guessing. Do you guys like this? You have to, yes, you have to, Joni, order the triangles. Yes, you're gonna to have to. So I have to go through your go through the if you want. Yep. And don't forget this ink refresher too by Ranger was four dollars and ninety-nine cents. You only use like two or three sprays on your uh ink pad, and don't forget your slice. Uh excellent thing to use um and most of all don't forget to order your kiwi lane templates so if you have any questions you guys can just keep commenting and we will answer answer them as they come in and you're welcome to um friend me on facebook and just, we'll show us now again what, what paper is it oh we'll show you the paper again it is oh let me find the front page it is Minte Seaside. And yes, it comes from Poland, probably made in Poland. And, um, and they're really beautiful, beautiful papers. So check out the Scrap Mania site and she's got them all listed that, that she has in. I can't even begin to tell you how because there's so many. And Nikki says, I have used the Ranger Oxide Ink Refresher and it works great. Yep. But have to get the other one. Yep. I uh I personally like the distress ones myself. And uh this has worked great on all of them. So all right, guys. Well, we're gonna title it after we sign off and doodle with it and put some extra touches on. So be watching for the, the post. post. And thank you again so much for joining us. Y'all have a good night, okay? And happy scrapping.